Can't you feel my heart be running away? You've got that super face. Like for real though. Cause you gotta come up. We're going live. So, let's do this because I almost forgot about this. So, hi family, how you guys doing? I hope everybody's doing well. I know it's late now, you know, it, it's been a, it's been a day. So, I did, I forgot, I, I didn't forget. Let me change that. I did not forget card of the day, okay? <laughs> card of the day is five of staves. Five of staves. So what that is about, okay, when you look at the card, let me take off my glasses because I need it for the screen. It's the five of staves, guys. So that normally represents uh, conflict, competition, you know, chaos you know, in your life, like, maybe like group of people, it could be family, it could be friends, group of people just, just want to cause conflict for no reason, you know, but the good thing about this is, as you look at the cards, they're like just, you can see, let me pull this up, when you look at the card, okay, if you can see the card, where the sticks are like just hitting each other's there's nothing really coming out of the conflict. You feel me? Like, whatever conflict that these people are starting or a conflict that is around you, or you may be the one that is causing this conflict, whatever it is, it's not doing any good. So there's no outcome to it. Like, whatever they thought was going to happen, whoever's causing this, there's, not, there's no outcome. The outcome that they wanted... I mean, there's nothing that's going to come of it. That's basically what that means. So, I'm sitting on this stool, y'all. So, I said, let me get in here and just do this real quick. So, yeah. So, basically, it's, it's just a waste of time. You understand? So, it's like nothing's going to come out of it. So, it's just a waste of time. So, besides that. I said, let me come on here and talk to you guys because, you know, um, if any of you are going through anything right now, you know, where you had conflict or, you know, a lot of things have been happening in your life, you know, a lot of things, chaos around you, you can't quite get everything right, you understand? And every time you think you're moving forward, you just move back a little bit. You know, so right now, you don't have to worry about that anymore. You understand? So whatever was causing, I'm just here to tell you something. Whatever was causing the conflict in your life, it is over. Right now, it is over. The conflict will cease. It is the end of that cycle. You understand? So you don't have to worry about that no more. So. If you were uh, keeping yourself back, hindering yourself, or not moving forward because you felt like everything that you were doing, it's, it's just not progressing, that's over with. That's done with. You have nothing to worry about when it comes to that. You understand? You don't have to worry about that anymore. So that's, yay. Say yay. You don't have to worry about that it's over move your move on with your life move forward do what it is that you've been wanting to do because it will progress 
And I'm telling you that right now. And that's for the ones that understand what I'm talking about. That is for the ones that that was that felt like the black sheep in the family and everybody's always blaming you and, and nothing could quite get right. Let me tell you something. Celebrate. 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 Because it's your time. It is your time. It is all over. You know, when you're going through all those discords in your life and, and you're feeling some kind of way and you... You're feeling some kind of way about yourself and you're asking yourself questions and you may even ask God questions, you know, and you don't know why me, why this, why. You don't have to worry about that anymore. And whomever or whatever was causing the chaos in your life, it is over with. Because right now, they'll be facing their judgment. You understand? Right now, everybody's going through their, their judgment, their karma. And, and some people, you know, they don't understand that whatever they put out there, they're going to get it back. You know, they may feel like, oh, somebody's doing doing something to me. Somebody may be doing roots on me and this and that. No, no, they don't know that what they've done to people is what they're getting back. You understand? They don't know what they've done unless you know for sure what it is. And I just wanted to let you guys know that. Do not be discouraged. Do not be unhappy. Make yourself happy. Get happy. Because those type of people and those situations, they love it when you're down. They love it when you're miserable, when you're not happy. Because the lower vibe people feed off of that. They feed off of your unhappiness. They feed off of your instability. They feed off of that negative energy. That's what gives them power. You understand? That is what gives them power. Don't let them do that. Come up. Be happy. I'm telling you right now, receive your blessings. Receive your blessings. If you have been doing everything that you could do, if you have been treating others the same way as you wanted to be treated, if you've been given and you have not been getting back, you understand me? If you have been given, given, doing for others, you have not been given back. If you've been given and they have not, and nobody was around to, to give to you or to assist you, or when you're down, you need some help, they all want you to help them. But then when it's your turn, nobody is there to be found. Don't worry about that no more, honey. It is your time, and I'm here to tell you that. Believe in, believe in that. I believe in the God that I serve. You understand? I believe in that. I believe in the Most High. Yes, I believe in that stuff because I know it is real. I believe in my angels and my ancestors. Yes, enemies or however they want to put it. But for the people, even my enemies that know me, they know that I don't talk for nothing and I don't waste my time. Okay, they know that I speak truth. When your enemies know that you speak truth, every time you open your mouth, that is something. So for the people that know me, that like me, that, that are friends with me or they've known me, they know that I don't waste my time and say things just for the hell of it. I don't front. I don't boast about things. I'd rather be in the background. That is the kind of person that I am, okay? I'd rather be in the back and helping out and doing whatever it is I can do to provide service. I don't like being up front. That's why it was so hard for me to come and do these videos. So that was a fear that I overcame. And, you know, I was so hard on myself. But you have to congratulate yourself when you overcome those fears, you understand? When you overcome something that you know it was so hard for you to do, but you did it. And I was the type of person, even when I overcame something, I still was hard on myself. I still was hard on myself. I didn't see the progression that I made. I didn't see how much that I've accomplished. You understand? But, and, and that happens, guys, when you're so used to being beat down and told that you'll never amount to nothing, you'll never be this. Oh, you can't do this. Who told you you can do this? 
Oh, what are you doing? That's a waste of time. When you've been told stuff like that and you're able to get up and overcome, you need to congratulate yourself. Okay? When your eyes become open and people can no longer take advantage of you, you need to congratulate yourself. Be happy for that. And I'm happy for that. So I'm not going to make this a long conversation. I may, but I was thinking about getting on my computer, but I said, let me just get on. Let me just sit here and talk to you guys instead of getting on this computer. So, like I said, you know, I'm happy for the accomplishments that I've made. And I can talk about that because I'm the kind of person that I was always being hard on myself. But no more of that. And sometimes it's not even you. It's not even you. It's all the negative energy that has been thrown at you. You understand? It's all the negative energy that has been thrown at you, that has been beat to you inside your head. All the negative energy that you have held, you know, inside of you for you not speaking your truth. You understand? When you keep that stuff and keep it bottled in, you start to believe that that's what you are for real. You understand? But that is not who you are. That is not who you are. You cannot be that person. Because if you were that person that was no good, that was all day and not about nothing, if that was you, then why are you so, why are you so popular? Why is it that everybody wants to be around your energy? Why is it that everybody's constantly trying to reach out to you, trying to see where you at, trying to reach and, and, and tell you something? Why is it that they are feeling the loss of you for the people that you have let go? Why are they feeling this? And when believe me, if you are upstanding person, if you are truly a good person and you help people out and when you're gone, you are missed. Believe me, when you're gone, you're missed. They're trying to stop me from talking. You will never stop me from talking, okay? When you are gone, believe me, they will miss you. For the people that you cut off, the people that did you dirty, the people that been in your life didn't mean you any good. When you pull your energy back from those people, believe me, okay? Believe me, they will feel the loss. Because, and not only that, not only that, when you pull your energy back, they start to receive some of that, some of that karma that they lashed on, they, that they sent to you, that they sent to you. Oh, believe me, it's real, baby. It's real. I, it's real. <laughs> when I say it's real, I say it's real. But I had a message for someone because I know you know, even though people don't come on here and, and pay attention or, or watch me, I'm not speaking to the ones that truly are watching me. I'm speaking to the ones that don't want me on here talking. Okay? They still watch the videos. They go in and they watch it. But I have a message that somebody sent to me, and I want to give it to someone because I know eventually they will watch this and they will see this. Okay. There's a thing, there's a saying, guys. God said, this is, an, this is a saying, this is so true as well. God said, I will show you your enemies, okay? He said, I will show you your enemies. I will let you see who they are. I will make them come to you, and I will have them ask you for help. I will make them ask you for assistance. They will come to you and ask you for a favor. Let me tell you. Now, for some of you that know my story, some of you that know me, I'm, I'm just going to shed some light on a few things. But I am closing. This chapter is closed. Like I was saying, whatever anybody's been going through right now, dealing with chaos, the chapter is closed. The cycle is over. Let me tell you about this. I was in a relationship, okay? And I had a child with this person, okay? And at the time when I met this person, we both were, I was in my low vibe, but I wasn't out here running and doing things. When I say low vibe, I'm gonna say it plain out right simple. I was doing things I shouldn't have been doing for money. When I say that, I was hustling, okay? I was dealing. And I paid for that. 
I was dealing. I was I was distributing. I was a pharmaceutical distributor. I'm not ashamed to say that because I no longer, I haven't done that for a long time. Now, the only reason I did that was I was working two jobs at the time. I had a son that I never spent time with. And, excuse me, but I was, uh, I was, uh, I was smoking that that uh, ganja at the time. Okay, that's what I did to relax. I don't do it anymore. Okay, no longer. But at the time, that was a long time ago. You understand? We're talking about how long has it been now? That was twenty, like over twenty years ago. Okay, guys. I mean, good. I still, look, I look good, but that was over twenty years ago. But anyway, let me get back to the story. So, and when I met this person, you know, sometimes you meet people and they can actually be, you know, when you think about demons and angels, de demons and angels are not what you think they are. They can still be your family members, your friends, people. They can have a negative spirit, you know, attached to them because of the things that they've done in life. You understand? So when I met this person, everything was good until... I think when I stopped hustling, when I stopped doing what I was doing, and the money wasn't coming in anymore, and that is when they went to their next target. But they made me do some things I have never done. So sometimes you can attach yourself to certain people that it's not good for you. It is not good for you. Okay? So now, let me tell you. Anyway, I know a lot of things that have been going on, you know, behind my back. And I've been talking about this for a moment now. I've been talking about it on Facebook. I talk about it on YouTube. Sometimes I just talk about it so I purge. I've been purging about it, you know, on TikTok, which is cool. You know, I'm over that. But to show you that God is, let me tell you, when you believe in God, when you know that you walk with God, when you know that you walk with source, you and source are one. Okay, I know I've been saying that, you know, some people are just, they, they know God. Some people, they're chosen to do certain things, which we all are. But some are actually chosen. Now, let me tell you, you may not know it at the time, but it doesn't mean that you can't turn your life around and things start changing for you. Because everybody can change. Now, let me tell you about this. So, when I pulled myself away, you know, and... The person that I pulled away from, they didn't expect me to pull away because they thought they had beaten me down so much to where I could not pull away. So when I pulled away, they were shocked, you know. But I know I didn't find this out till years later because, like I said, I was not in a high vibe. You understand? I was doing things I shouldn't have been doing, like distributing is not something that you should be doing. And... You know, anyways, so let's get back to this. So when I pulled away and, you know, and I had family members and friends and people that didn't want me to to know who I was, to know my capability, to know how resourceful I was. People that didn't want me to think that I was a good person. And this person had gotten so angry to where they teamed up with other people and not only that, because of conversations that other people were saying about me and they listening and people were lying and saying this and that and they believed it. You know, they believed it. So they went on and attached themselves with somebody, but that's fine. But guess what they did? They started doing root work. They started doing magic on me because of the fact that I was in my low vibe. They they saw the gifts that was in me, but I didn't see the gifts. I knew. I knew some of my gifts, okay? But they didn't they saw what was in me. When you're dealing with people that are demonic and doing uh things they shouldn't have been doing and people that have heavy karma on them, you know, and they're doing so many things behind your back. Not only that, you're doing spell work. They can see things that you don't see if you're in this low vibe. You understand? So they saw the gifts 
that was in me, some of the things that I didn't see. So they were trying to pull that away from me, and they did. You know, I've, I talked about this, and, and some of you may even be going through this, and you don't even know. You can't even understand why your life was one way. Look, if you're the black sheep, then you understand. If, if I know some of you can understand where I'm coming from. But they saw the gift, so they linked up with someone pillow talking to the person that they was with, whomever they were sleeping with, because they didn't realize why are you pillow talking? Because obviously you miss this person. Obviously, when this person is no longer in your life, you felt the emptiness of the person leaving you. But you pillow talking to your people you're sleeping with, and then they, they come in curious about this. So now you incorporate people to do these things. You want to, oh, I'm, I'm this and I'm that, and you want to tell them all these lies and not tell them the actual fact. And the actual fact was even, even when, even then, I didn't know this person was in a relationship because I was in my low vibe. I was so busy. All I was thinking about was making money. You feel me? I wasn't paying attention to what they was doing, but they, they were paying attention to me. Even when I left, they had other people working against me, trying to do pull through my sacred chakra, doing all type of root work on me, having me down. I'm telling you, when I say that I was down for years, and it wasn't just them, it was family members. All these these things are real people. And if you still don't believe by now in this day and age that we're living in, and your eyes are not open to see what's going on around you, then I don't know what to tell you then you just need to sit here and watch your life and watch what's happening. And if you wanna and if you wanna think about it, look at your life. If if things are not going right for you, look at your life, look at the people you're hanging around and, and get away from them and see if your life don't change. Get away from them, start doing what you have to do for you, pour all that love into you, watch your life change. Now, this person after doing with their with their significant other, whomever they were with, and other people they were sleeping with, okay? And yes, I know this. And they probably asking themselves, how do I know the grace of God? And you know how I know because of the gifts that God has bestowed me with. The things that you try to pull and take away from me. That you see that now, you cannot. Although you've taken some things from me in the past. You've, you've held up my money, delays, things that were coming to me I could never get. You pulled it away. You know, you, you had me in confusion. You know, you had me walking around for so many years not knowing exactly what was going on with me. But by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus that is on my life, you understand? God has allowed me to go through that situation. He has allowed me to go through it because so that I can learn from it. I don't regret it. I don't regret anything that I have gone through. I don't regret family, friends, ex-lovers. In fact, I send you guys healing. I hope to God you can heal your heart and God will change you. You understand? But I don't regret nothing I've been through because if I hadn't been through what I went through, I would not be the person that I am right now. I would not be standing here, sitting here in front of you, able to talk about this. I would not be able to go on live and talk because that was a fear for me. Okay? So, I thank you. I thank you. But get back to what I want to tell you because... God will show up and show out, and he will show you that what he said, it is true. Now, let me tell y'all, this person that was doing all this, so I remember I told them uh, a little while ago when I received the call, I told them, you know, they were complaining about something that happened with their significant other, and I told them, I said, you know what, you need to know this, I, you know, you called me, so I'm just going to tell you this. This person is doing this. This person is doing that. I'm telling this person, somebody is doing uh, root work. Somebody is doing this and that because I'm feeling, you know, I'm kind of getting it out there to feel what they're going to tell me. Oh, guess what they told me? Oh, no. Uh, I don't think they would do. I don't think something like that is happening around me. Can't nobody do that to me. 
Oh, can't nobody do that to you because you know what you're doing. But guess what happened, y'all? They come to find out. They didn't tell me this. I'm telling you how I know because I have those gifts. They come to find out. They found out the person that they was with. You know, it's a few of them. But the main one that they was hopping around sleeping with, even though they're in a relationship and all this and that, the person was doing root work on them as well. Not only were they doing root work on me, they were doing root work on them as well. So now when they realize everything, now their eyes are open. Their eyes are open, people. Why their eyes are open? Because God has healed me. You understand? Your eyes are open now because God has healed me. Yes, I am a true believer. I don't care. Whatever you believe in, that is your business. Just like what I believe in, it's my business. You understand? I'm not telling anybody to have faith in what I believe in. No, I talk about what I talk about because I've been through it or I've done my research on it. I talk about things that I know. I don't talk about things that I make up or that I find somebody else said and I'm saying that I'm not that type of person. I'm real about what I talk about and I'm a real person. I don't sugarcoat nothing. I tell it like it is. You understand? And everything I've been through already, I'm not afraid. I'm not scared. There's nothing else that you can take me through that you have not taken me through. You've stripped me. You've taken stuff from me. I've lost homes. I've lost things. I've lost money. I even almost died so many times. There is nothing else that you can do to me. You understand? Especially now that I'm in my power. You cannot do anything to me. You understand? And anything you do, it's just going to go back to you. So now, let me tell you what happened. This person, now they come to find out that the person that they were with was not only doing magic on me, they was doing magic on them as well. So they couldn't understand everything they were going through. Not only this, the person that one of the people they're with, get this, called my phone, guys. And I'm looking at the phone last night at 1 o'clock in the morning. I say, who's calling me from this number, 1 o'clock in the morning? You understand? A 445 area code. I'm like, what area code is this? And I'm like, it's Philadelphia. Yeah. Somewhere, I mean, that not that Pennsylvania? 445 area code? I don't know anybody going to be calling me 1 in the morning. I didn't answer it. But... I'm putting the message out because I'm sure this person knows that me and the person that I was with long time ago, we're not together no more unless they've been telling you lies. I'm not with nobody. You understand? I am solo. You understand? Solo. I'm not roaming around. I'd rather stick to my own energy. Okay? And I'm happy with that. But let me tell you, I don't know what's been going on to make this person think they can call my phone and think that I would know where this person is. And the message that was sent to me when, when I didn't answer the phone, so I get up in the morning and I see a message on my phone from that same 445 area code talking about, oh, our, what? Our son's father, our son's father, you need to get in touch with our son's father because things have been crazy for me and this something, something. I'm looking at the message like, what the hell? Our son's father. So what you trying to call me to get to give me a story for? Do you even know me? And how the hell did you get my phone number? How the hell did this person get my phone number to even call me or text me? So that proves all along what I've been saying. You guys have been talking... You know, you've been tracking my phone, tracking my movement, my movements, but the only thing I know for sure is you guys don't know where I'm living at. You guys don't know where I live at because I am no longer in the same place. So let me tell you this. When I say God will show you, bring your enemies to you to ask you for a favor, believe it when I say it, okay? God will show you your enemies. So now you calling me, this same person that was dealing with somebody else doing all kinds of stuff behind my back, 
talking about me, taking stuff, doing root work, this and that. Now you calling me to ask me where my kid's father is. I need to get in touch with him because, what, you pregnant or something? What they got to do with me? Ah, let me tell you something. I feel for you because, let me tell you, I haven't been with this person in a long time. I feel for you, honey, because I went throughout my whole pregnancy by myself. By myself. I took care of myself. Even when he came back, he was in and out. But this was years ago. I feel for you. But you thought you was doing something, listening to what somebody was telling you. And you took it upon yourself to harm somebody else that was not doing nothing to you. That you don't even know. Not only that, you wanted to be me. Because you wanted to keep this this whoever you thought that you whatever, I don't know if you thought that he, he, I know he probably still won't because like I said, like I said, when people do you wrong and you've been good to them and everything, they will miss your presence. When you pull your presence, pull your energy from you, from them, they will miss you. Okay? So for this man to be pillow talking to you and telling everybody this and that, this and that about me, and then you take it upon yourself to do all this stuff to me. And now you calling me, texting me to ask me to find our baby daddy. What do I know about that? I didn't pay no mind. Okay? And I feel for you. I will pray for you. Even though I know you did all this stuff to me, I will pray for you. Okay? Because the only reason that you can contact me now is because you are going through it. You are going through it because like I, I, I've been saying, whatever you put out, you will get it back for sure. Whatever you put out there, you're going to get it back. And I'm not wishing no harm on you, no bad, even though you wished it for me. Even though you wished it for me. Even though you guys, even though you wanted me dead, you wanted me out of the picture, you wanted to take my gifts. What gifts? If, if somebody has spiritual gifts. You can't take it from them. That is destined. That is something that the God has bestowed upon their life. You can make them confused. You can make them have delays to where they can't move for a while. Or you can make their money slow up. You can make them can't keep relationships. How do I know? Because that's what you put me through. And it's so many. It's not just one to one the two. And it was all because of the light that is within someone. Because, let me tell you why you did that. And you probably don't even know now why you did all this. You came to the, you were so addicted to working with my energy. You got addicted to my energy so much. You did something day, night. You probably doing something now. I know you did something on the moon cycle, but what happened? I know it went back to you because I know God was here. I know God was here because it's over. The cycle is over. And God showed me that it was over by having you call my phone. You know, I'm not going to worry about how you got my number because I already know. I know you be watching some of my pages and whatever, whatnot, whatever you're doing. That's fine. But I hope this is a lesson for you. You understand? Whatever's going on between you and my uh, kid's father... I got nothing to do with it. I left that situation a long time ago. I left a whole bunch of people that I don't even talk to. Family members, uh, ex-lovers, uh, friends. I'm solo because I'm at peace. So I don't go around causing trouble for nobody. But I'm just talking about something. So if somebody can get something out this message, I am so happy, guys. I just want to give somebody a good message today. If you feeling like you've been going through something, don't be down. Because like I said, God will show you who's your enemies. He will bring them to you and even make them ask you for a favor. And if you out there, uh, the person, you know who I'm talking about. I'm sending you this message, okay? Call your... Uh, I don't know the person, you know who I'm talking about, you know, 445 area code. They wanted, they're trying to reach you, okay? They sent me a message, they're trying to reach you. So you need to call them and ask them, please.
don't call my number anymore because I don't know anything about the situation. And whatever you have going on, do not put me in it. Do not put me in it because I have nothing to do with it. You know, I'm going on, with, I've gone on with my life a long time ago. I'm over that. I'm over all that. And I'm over all the stuff that family members, you, friends, whatever, who people you enlisted, uh, uh, I don't know, whomever. I'm over all that. The cycle is over now, okay? And I wanted to say this. The cycle is over. This is a brand new situation here. It's a brand new beginning for me, you know, and anybody that that is getting over the same thing, the cycle is over. It is a brand new beginning. Don't fret, be happy, live in your power, live in your power, okay? Walk your walk, live in your power. Do not dim your light for anybody. Do not dim your light to make anybody feel good or to make them... No, anybody gets intimidated or they feel like your light, uh, your light irritates their demons. Don't worry about that. That is what you're supposed to do. You, you, you're supposed to be a catalyst to make them want to change. That's why when you, when sometimes you walk into a room, people, they looking at you because your energy is felt. You understand? I'm telling you guys, I, I have to think, I thought about this, you know, because I had so many people, my hair is like, I had so many people trying to take one person down, one person down, just because of what? They're kind hearted, they got a good heart, and that, what have they done to you? But anyways, I'm going to make this, I'm about to end this video, so to the whomever to the I'm, I don't know who it was but from my intuition what I'm feeling for the young lady that called me and wanted to know where this man is I don't know where he is okay I'm sure he's out there somewhere I don't know where he is and he is not with me he has not been with me for a very long time okay and I am blessed because of that <laughs> but I have no idea, baby, so uh, you don't have to call me or send me a message. I'm done with that. And if you're trying to do that so you can, uh, thinking you can do your root work through the phone, if you hear my voice or something like that, don't waste your time because you're just going to waste your time because I'm sure that whatever you're going through now, it's not good. So you don't want to do anything else. This is not the time. Whatever you've been doing, give it up. Just stop, okay? Stop doing it. If you have other people you know that have been doing it, stop doing it. Tell them to stop too. Because right now, it won't be good. And I'm just giving you a heads up, okay? I don't have to because really, it's none of my business. You know, and really, God, you know, it's not... God already told me, and I know to stay out of it. But I'm just letting you know, okay? Just stop, repent. You know, try to heal your heart because you know people, people that want to hurt you, they're people that are hurt. Hurt people hurt people, okay? So they need to heal their heart. That's it. They need to heal their heart, find out what's wrong with them, why are they doing this, they're doing that, why is there so much insecurities within themselves? You understand? But that is my message in and I'll put your message out there. I, I'm sure, I hope he hears it. You know, if somebody that, that knows me sees this video, maybe they'll send a message to him. So I did put it out there, but I just didn't answer or text back because that is not my business. And you guys, you know this is fact. Sometimes people will try to include you in something or have you come in to assist them with something that you had nothing to do with. You understand? And if you made that mistake in including yourself in something, they will try to put all the drama upon your life. Uh-uh. I had enough drama dealing with this. I had enough drama dealing fighting back and, and trying to get these people off my back, 
trying to keep my karma clear, trying to get these people throwing magic, magic at me to stop. I had enough of that, but like I said, people, all that, all that is over with. So there is no more of that. So for you people that don't get it, <laughs> get it, okay? This is a new cycle, like I've been saying. You know, I'm about to get off this live, but let me get up a little closer. This is a new cycle, guys, like I've been saying. So everything is over with right now. So if you guys are going through anything, I wish you well. You know, I wish you, I wish God will have mercy on you, but that is it. And for the people that have been going through this and you didn't see no way out of it, you're getting discouraged. Don't be discouraged because I'm here to tell you right now. Don't mind my hair, y'all. I'm here to tell you right now, guys, that it is over. You can go out and live your life. Enjoy your life. Okay. Enjoy your life. Can't you feel my heart be running away? Can't you feel my heart be running away? Okay. I wish you guys love, happiness, okay? Love and happiness. It's all about love, people. So I'm going to go now, okay? Have a good night. Have a great night. Have a great night. I love you guys, okay? Love you later.